Hi, everybody. Good morning. I'm having a little technical issue with my iPad. Um, it does this sometimes, and right now it's doing it, and it's being very obnoxious, but I have a backup queued up for our warm-up and stretch. Um, so whatever. We won't let it hold us down. Okay. Um, welcome to Beginner Hula. This is our um, our last day that we're going to spend on Ikona, and we're going to try something a little bit different today. We're going to start with our normal uh, warm-up and stretch, and then we'll do, uh, yeah, we'll just do warm-up, stretch. We'll do our um, Ha'alava drill with our hands, because we do that every single class, um, and then we will, sorry, that's Lincoln, um, and then we'll get into some things, and then I'll let you know what we're going to do. It's going to be fun. Okay. Um, Normal things we always talk about. Uh, be careful if you're dancing. You're dancing by yourself. I can't see you. So I can't see if you're doing something that's going to like be kind of compromising your back position or things like that. And so make sure you're paying close attention to your body and that you're warming up and stretching properly and that you're really listening to yourself so that we're helping not hurting while you're dancing. And then what else? Um, Oh, if you'd like to make a little donation to the LA Belly Dance Academy, um, please do. A great small business in Los Angeles that's trying to make it through all this. But, you know, we, um, if you can't, no problem at all. Everybody's under financial strain. So don't feel um, obligated to because really at the end of the day, what this is about is providing an opportunity for people to dance, regardless of where, where you are, what's happening in your neck of the world. Uh, we want everybody to come together and dance together in the middle of all this stuff that's going on. <clears throat> so I hope you're all having a great day today. Let's start off with our warm up and stretch. Let's give the iPad one last chance. Come on, iPad, <clears throat> pull through. And iPad said no. So that's that. <laughs> no problem at all. Don't worry. I've got our songs queued up um, on my, it's just going to play through my laptop. So that should be fine. It is through YouTube. So hopefully um, it doesn't have ads. I don't think it does. But we'll start off with our warm up and stretch. We're warming up with big ummies. Lincoln is warming up along with us. Hi, buddy. We've awoken the beast. And make sure that when you bring your feet together that they're a little less than shoulder width apart and um, super, super straight. All right, here we go. Yeah. <laughs>
song. Thank you, last voices. Here we go. Let's stretch. Reach up, reach up. And up on your toes. I'm 
God. Let's do it. Aloha, Barbara. Okay, let's see. Wait. Let's find hot honey my. I hope the I hope the sound um comes through okay. Cause it's different. Cause usually I'm on it's on my iPad coming through. Now it's from my laptop, so it might be. I'm hoping it still sounds fine. I guess the music's louder, which is not a bad thing, but if you can't hear me, then it's hard. Uh, okay, let's do just one more song. I'll turn it down a little bit, and I hope you can hear me, but we'll keep it really basic. We'll do Heui, and we'll just basically do like Koholo, Kahela, so just follow me, and we'll keep our warm-up going, and then we'll get into what we're going to do today. Oh, here we go. Ready? Yeah. 
He's laying in his bed now, so he's happy. Okay. All right. Uh, all kinds of ridiculousness today. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. This is our last day on Ikona. So, aw, Ali'i Ali and Lincoln should be friends. They should be Facebook friends. I'm just kidding. Don't put Lincoln on social media. He would be a monster. Okay. Uh, we're going to do, let's review all of Econa really fast. We're just going to walk through it. Um, and then I'll tell you what we're going to do with it. So we'll spend a little bit of time just walking back through each verse, remarking any spots. If you have questions about any places, please feel free to ask in the chat. Um, and we'll make sure to get those answered. Well, let's just walk through it. This is kind of with the assumption that you've already had the other breakdowns. If you haven't, don't worry, just keep following along. This is not a super, super difficult, like a complex hula. So hopefully you can just kind of follow along, but I want you to feel it. I want you to listen to the song. Today is really about focusing on the performance of the song. So um, hopefully it's because we all know the choreography well enough, but even if you don't, just keep following along. And I want you to try to let go of this idea that the steps all need to be super perfect and focus more about how you're feeling while you're dancing. All right, so let's start with our first verse. Um, and again, since this is about sort of taking it out, out of your head and out of just the choreography and more about the performance, um, I want to go over some things that are going to help you kind of put this in the real world. So for this, generally, the vamp is here. We're doing a kahola to the right and a kahola to the left. So you can use this on any part that is um, instrumental or for an entrance or anything like that. So, um, yeah, so I'll face this way. So starting with our first verse, which our kahe is aiai kona, right? Aiai kona. So we're here, and I'm going to kaholo to the right. Hand goes all the way up and over. And then flip the hand and over across. And this hand, again, this hand was 
flipped up, but then I flipped it like that. And then you're going up and over, hand is facing out and it lands facing down. Okay, so five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're rolling our cloud banks, kaiopua, yi kalai. Now we're making our waves, kaholo, and then open for yi kalai. So that was two big ummies for your kaiopua, and my ummy is going toward the right. And you're finishing it, yeah. You should finish those two ummies to your right. You should finish with the weight in your left foot so you can step into that right kaholo um, for the next move. And again, mirroring you, my hands are, are going one, two, three. And then down into my waves, down, up, down. Okay? So big ummies, roll. Roll, kaholo, waves. Then they come together and they open. You're gonna open just with your left hand, okay? Sorry, Brutus, hey, Bubba. Brutus, hush. Oh my goodness, sorry. It's like the twilight zone over here today. I don't know what is going on. Um, okay, so let's go back to Aya Yikona, the beginning of this verse. Ready? Five, six, seven, go. Kaholo, right. Two, three, and flip over. Left. Now we roll two big ummies. One, two, make your waves. Kaholo, right. And open here. Ikalai. There's not two of you. You are two who are incomparable, right? So we're going to koholo from, we're going to pull from 45 degrees to the shoulder and 45 degrees this way. And then we kahala right, left, and koholo so that we can repeat. Mirroring you. This is, we're going kaholo to the right and we're pulling from the right. We're here and bringing to the shoulder and then here, bringing to the shoulder and out, flip. Remember that you're flipping at the last minute, at the last moment. We're not going like, keep your hands uh, together like this as you push out and then break, okay? As opposed to like, this or something like pulling apart sooner um or going like this okay keep them together flip all right okay walk it again from the beginning of this verse aia e kona ready five six seven go one two three watch your hands five six seven and roll one two three four Five and we're going to make your lai. Now grab a ohelua and this side here and kahala right, left. Then we kaholo for the vamp and then we repeat again. Ready? Aia yi kona. All the way around. Watch your hand go all the way around. Look here. And then roll, roll, make your waves, and open, kalai, and out, in, out, in, and kahela, kahela. Right, and left. That's the first verse. Make sure that you keep your elbows up when you bring them in like this. So when you're here, here, and giving out, so it's not like, oh, I'm cold, or I'm choking, or whatever. It's just here. You're kind of bringing into your, your embrace here, like this. Okay? 
Yeah. All right. Um, let's just do that verse with music. I also hope the key clacking isn't too loud for you all. I did had done a sound check on this before and it sounded like I could really hear the keys clacking. I just hope it's not hurting anybody's ears or whatever. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Ready? Okay, ready? Oh, hold on. We're going to go into the second verse here. Put this out. Second verse is Malihini Mako. So everybody, let's hear that kahea. Malihini Mako. Okay. So our Malihini Mako is going to start with the side kaholo. Again, remember your side kaholo is the same footwork as a regular kaholo. But you're turning to the side. So... We're still going to go right, left, right, tap, left, right, left, tap. It's going to go feet work, right, left, right, tap, left, right, finish in the fronts. Okay? Now, we're saying Malikini Mako. We're saying that um, we're foreigners here, right? James Kettle Polo, when he visited Kona, he was new there. And he, uh, when he was inspired to write this song, he had just been received with such such an incredibly warm welcome and people were so friendly they treated him like family and so that's what he's saying we're foreigners here but you all extended such an invitation of aloha to us that it's really like left this huge impression um so um let's go we're remember we're taking our right hand comes up um i know i'm sorry your left hand your left hand goes to your shoulder and opens on the side kaholo. So open right, left, right, up, left, right, left. And then we're going to give out to Malikini Mako Iaoe Ikona. Okay, good. I want to make sure I have the right. Footwork. Let me reverse it for you. So now I'm mirroring you. So again, I'm going to go with my, pretend this is uh, my right foot. This should be your right foot. So mirror me. I'm going with this hand coming from my shoulder. Open and up. Here, give out. Right, left, right. Now we open for the ikona. Ikona all the way across. And then ha'aleva, right and left okay now we're going to ike kono so your uh, right hand is going to circle over your left and give out so i'm going to go um kaholo in a diagonal here finish here i go right left right bring it back left right left and uehe right left so on those two uehes, I, we, I step back on my right foot at an angle this way, then back on my left foot and angling 45 degrees this way. And the hands are putting the lay on, finishing together like this. Okay, friendship, yay. All right, let's do that verse again. Again, I'll stay here on this side, I'll mirror you. Ready? 
and five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Then we couple a little. Yeah. Do that with music, just that verse, and then we'll put verses one and two together. Let's go from the beginning. Another step between the uehe. Yeah, I know. So, so I was talking about the uehe. It's a, it is a little awkward. You're stepping here. Just think of it as your, that step is just like we put we step with each uehe, that is your step. So it's just like two uehe, but you are, um, it's just like an uehe ihope, but you are uh, just turning a little bit. Here, we should have drilled that, huh? <laughs> Sorry. So we're just turning, stepping back. Yeah, practice. All right, let's go from the beginning, those two verses. Thank you. 
you practicing. I, I know. I always tell people the, the, the answer to 90% of the questions and not even just hula, but also like Tahitian dance is to bend lower. And the, like eight more percent is to keep practicing. <laughs> so, all right, let's get into the next section. We have um, our instrumental section. This is an instrumental verse in this version of the song. So for this, what we did was, again, it's three kapolo, right, left, right. It's four ha'aleva, left, right, left, right. Then it's three kapolo, left, right, left, four ha'aleva, right, left, right, left. So three, four, three, four, okay? And my kapolo are just here, like the regular vamp of the kapolo, here. And then three, and then my ha'aleva, doing my ikona arms, bringing this one to meet here, and opening ha with, through my four ha'aleva. Try and make sure that this is smooth. This is smoothed out, that you're not going, that you're not going one, two, three, four, right? Or another thing is you go one, two, three, oh, I'm already there, four, okay, it's fine. All right, try to make sure that you are spacing it out so you get up there halfway through and then you finish it off on that side. Okay, and then, so we're gonna do that. Uh, let's walk that really quick, just that sequence, and then we'll go straight into the ha'ina and then um, we'll run that and then we'll run the whole thing. So again, we're going three, four, three, four, five, six, seven, mirror me, right, left, right. Here's two, left, right left, here's three, right, left, right, here's our ha'aleva, one, two, three, four, koholo, left, right, left, right, left, right, here's three, left, right, left, ha'aleva, one, two, three, four, okay? Then you finish with the weight in your left foot so that you can go into the haina. All right, for this, again, for this version of this song, um, this first time through the haina, the, it kind of drops, the music drops out for a second. So we're going to step, oh yeah. So we're doing left hand, left foot. Left hand, left foot. So I step forward, giving out, up and around. And then here, out, kaholo, right, left, right. Okay, and that's on that ha'ina. Ha'ina, ia, mai, ana, kapua, na, kaholo, right, left. Aohelua, right, same as the first verse. And here, and I'm on the wrong side. Hold on, I was mirroring you, sorry, I'm getting confused. Okay, so I'm here. Oh, I know, I gotta go, I have to go left, sorry. Okay, so I step forward, left hand, left foot, up and over, and here, out, and then weight goes back into your right foot and you kaholo left, kaholo left. Now a'ohelua from the right, right? And left, now kahala right, left, kaholo, right? And now we do this with the kaholo. Left goes here, around, ha'ina, ia, my Anna Kapua Na Kaholo Left, right, left, Ao Helua Eli Gei Me O We. Let's see. Yeah, so and yeah choreographed this nonsense i'm just kidding i did that's the only reason i made that joke um yeah i did love foot 
Okay, but here's the thing again about today. I want to focus on performance. So again, this is one of those things, part of the reason it's so wishy-washy is like, I would change it depending on what I was doing or if I have formations for people or what. So, I mean, if you want to go right foot, then like maybe just go right foot. But yes, the way that it is, the way I taught it is step is that you come out of this and you have time because you finish the koholo on the left side and then you're kind of like milking this for all this work. I'll post a performance video of when we actually performed this on stage and actually what I had what I had in that spot was um, a lot of times was um, a turn so everybody would go like this and then step into it like that. And that would take up more time because there's a, it really sort of milks that moment right there. So you, ha it's, you have time, it's not like a faster hula that would make for like a complicated sort of catch step there to get onto that left foot. So just try and think, coming out of this left koholo, coming back to your right foot, stepping into it, Mayana, Kapua, Na, Koholo left, Aohe, Lua, Elike, Ai, Me, O, We, Koholo. Now let's do the repeat with the Koholo. So, Haina, give out, Mayana. Kapua, or we said uh, halaba, left, right, kaholo, left, right, left. A ohelua, elike ai, me o we. And then this is the um, the turn to finish. Three, dun, 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 dun. Did any of that make sense? I have no idea. I feel like I'm babbling. Let's do this with, we're gonna do this with music, then we're gonna do it all the way through, and then we're gonna do the special one. Yeah, yes, like a pause and a breath, exactly. You're like, what's happening, hyena? Oh my goodness. <laughs> all right, there we go. Let's start with that instrumental. From the beginning, I'm going to turn face the other way so I don't get confused. Here we go. Oh. 
Good job. So that's our review. Now what we're going to do is, again, since this is about performance today, what we're going to do is we've gotten to know this choreography pretty well, I hope by now. And so this is one of those songs that everybody knows. Everybody knows this song. So if you're out somewhere and there's live musicians and some people are getting up to dance, hula, then you might ask if this song can be played or they might start playing it and they want the hula dancers to come up. Whatever it is, you should participate. You should do it because the whole reason of dancing hula is so we can share it with other people so that we can perpetuate our culture. We can perpetuate the knowledge that we have gained. We can pass it on to other people. We can share it with others. We don't want to just keep it to ourselves, all your hard work. So what we're going to practice right now is I found a few um, live versions of this online, like different YouTube videos. This is an experiment because what I'm hoping is that YouTube doesn't kick us off for this. So if the live stream goes down, I'm going to jump back on. Okay. So if the live stream goes down, just come back. And then we'll just know that we can't use that video. I don't know if it's going to. I'm hoping it doesn't, but we'll see. Because to keep it fair, I have not practiced this song with any of these. The idea is that you're out somewhere and somebody's playing the song. And sometimes you don't know. Are they going to repeat the verse? Are they going to skip a verse? That's why kahea are so important. And if you, like in this case, we can't tell the musicians in the YouTube video, obviously, what, what verse to play. But um, this is a scenario where if you're not calling out your kahea, 
a lot of times the musician will call it out for you because again it's about that com communication between you two if you're not going to call it out and tell them what to play they're going to call it to tell you what to dance just like letting you know hey you know oh yeah you know, coming up again so let's um try this out you you know it's again what tempo is it going to be what verses are they going to play um it's about listening to the music and about drawing yourself out of the choreography emotions. So I want you to let go. I'm going to face you and I'm not going to mirror you because I don't want you ju just following me. I want you listening to the music and dancing along. And if in a spot you kaholo instead of ha'aleva, who cares? This is your solo, right? You can do whatever you want. You can fix your feet in another move later. It's not a big deal. You don't have to freak out about it. You just keep dancing and just go with it. That's the beauty of it. So let's, I'm going to play this. Um, it's going to be surprises. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? First up, we have the incomparable Ledward Kaapana. Um, who's he joined with in the studio too? Ooh, this is a great video. Oh, Dennis Kamakahi, who's like my favorite person ever. I think, uh, who else is in this? I can't remember. But here's our first one. Ledward Ka'apana, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, listen to the music. And the uh, title of the song is called Ikola. Hey, this time I'm going to let you know. I'm going to pick up a bullet dancer over here. My name is Shay. It doesn't matter. You just listen and fix your feet at some point. No problem. But it takes a little practice to get used to being like in the moment. Okay, that's number one. Good job. So again, imagine yourself up on that stage. 
dancing for this crowd and connecting with them and you're just sharing hula with them they are gonna love it and they're not gonna be like hmm that was weird she did three kahala there that's not normal like they don't know they don't know what they're watching they just know that the, what you're feeling and they're gonna feel that too okay let's do it again not that one another one who do we have next Ooh, keolu switching it up Again, I don't know if any of these have instrumentals. I knew that first one probably wouldn't because I knew a hula dancer was in it. They don't usually put the instrumentals if there's a hula dancer on stage with them. But I don't know if the rest of these do or not. So you just have to improvise as you go. Here's Ke Olu. <laughs> me up a little bit because they do the harmonies in the first verse and then it's just her in the second and the repeats so a lot of times they'll do it the other way they'll just be them on the first and then the repeat so then I was like I was like wait a minute are they doing this again again I don't know what verses they're repeating or what verses they're not so it's a surprise for me too okay up next is like I don't want to say my favorite one out of the bunch because come on, we've got some heavy hitters in here, but I think you're going to love it. Here is Common Kings with Ikona. And I will tell you this. I'm going to cheat right now. They do skip the Malahini Mako. So it goes from Aya Ikona straight into Haina. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Let's dance along with Common Kings. Hey, what's up? We're Common Kings, and this is a traditional Hawaiian song called Ikona. Ikona <laughs> 
So, um, I don't know what the tempo is. I don't know if they have any instrumental verses. They might. I really have no idea. So, let's find out together. Again, like, and again, when it comes to that hyena verse, sometimes if you're doing, a if somebody's doing it really, really slow, maybe you don't want to, like, step forward and be like, maybe you want to go all through that so you feel like you're moving more. Just do it. You rigged yourself up. <laughs> you were doing so well. Yes. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here is Mauna Lua. And then we have one more. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. 
Obviously, if you're jumping up and dancing with like an ukulele player with a band, they're not going to throw in those like solo sections on you. Don't worry. But it's good to be prepared because if somebody instead is like, oh, we're at a party, we're having a barbecue, Kana Kapila, who knows Ikona, I have it right here on my iPod. And then they play it and you don't know what version it's going to be. And there might be an instrumental in there. So you got to be ready. All right. If you think that one was hard, get ready for this one. I'm not even going to tell you anything about it. Let's just do it. Steven Canaje Española, Icona on High Sessions. I did but you know what I still did pretty good too so yeah <laughs> no. all right we've had a lot of fun today um if you're learning songs like this that have such a history 
and that everybody knows and loves so much for good reason. Do this, learn it, and then find find live recordings of it. Find people on YouTube and just practice. It's really good for you. And it's also really good for you to um, practice connecting with the music and um, trying to can listen and have that exchange with the musicians. That is such an important part of hula is really connecting with the music and not just sort of like, the, the music's not just there to guide you. This is really a joint effort in telling this story um, when you're dancing. So it's really important that you, uh, you have the relationship to the music and that you understand um, like what you're, you're constantly sort of evaluating and listening and reacting because then that allows you to push that out of your face and then your audience is going to love it, right? Yeah. Yeah, exact, it, is, it is such a good confidence boost because then you're like, you get to a point where you're just like, Oh, right. The, the audience really is there for your performance. They're not there to see you get every step perfect. I mean, unless they're Mary Monarch, but we're not Mary Monarch. So especially when you're dancing your solo, you know, that connection with the audience is so, is so much more important than these specific steps. Um, I do want to say that, that, that that's really true of Awana. If you're doing kahiko, it's a very different thing. So you have to um, make sure for kahiko, if you're doing uh, kind of a more indigenous or an ancient hula or something that's more traditional, um, you need to make sure that you're, that you're doing it properly. <laughs> but uh, for your awana, you know, it's really important that you make that connection. Okay, thank you so much for joining me today. Great job, everybody. Um, we'll go ahead and start La Iei Kavai next week. Um, I love that song. It's so beautiful. And I love the story behind it. It's very empowering. And it's very, it uh, says a lot about um, this, about just about Hawaiian culture and values for me. Um, it's a good, it's a good story. If you want to read ahead, um, the story that I teach comes from, um, is the one that the, because there are always different versions of different myths and all that stuff because depending on where they come from um but the one the version that i teach is from king david kalakawa he wrote a book of where is it all my books too many books he wrote a book of um of myths and that's the one that i teach uh I don't see it. It's here somewhere. Anyway, you can get that book if you want to. You should. Lots of good stories in there. Okay, that's enough. I've kept you all enough. You guys have a wonderful day um, or a wonderful evening. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I will see you next week. So we Lincoln and... <laughs> okay. Yes, I can bug you a little bit since you are bugging us today. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. And uh, keep practicing. And ahui ho. Bye.